On the opposite side of the spectrum to acids, we have bases. Bases are proton acceptors. They accept positively charged hydrogen ions. There are two reactions of bases that you should know. The reaction of a base with an acid, which we looked at in a previous video, and the reaction of a base with an ammonium salt. When a base reacts with an ammonium salt, the products are salt, water, and ammonia. Now well, let's look at what an ammonium salt is. Ammonium salts are salts which contain the ammonium ion, which is NH4+. Now the ammonium ion is derived from ammonia, and that's NH3. Ammonia is a base, and remember bases are proton acceptors, so ammonia can accept a proton and it would then form the ammonium ion. Because the ammonium ion now has a proton, it can donate this proton and anything that can donate a proton is considered to be an acid. For that reason, an ammonium salt can act in a similar way to an acid and it will react with a base. An example of an ammonium salt is ammonium chloride. When a base reacts with an acid, the metal ion from the base replaces the proton. Something similar happens here. The metal from the base will replace the ammonium ion. So the salt that is formed in this case would be sodium chloride. The other products of a reaction between a base and an ammonium salt is ammonia and water. The reaction between a base and an ammonium salt gives us a salt, ammonia and water. Let's do a second example. In our second example, we have a reaction between magnesium hydroxide and ammonium carbonate. For the reaction, the metal from the base will replace the ammonium ion. The salt that will be formed from this reaction is therefore magnesium carbonate and the remaining products are ammonia and water. Before you go, Ammonia is a gas and we can test for the presence of this gas by using a damp red litmus paper. Remember, ammonia is a base and basis turns red litmus paper blue. So, if you hold a damp red litmus paper in the mouth of a conical flask or a test tube, wherever the reaction is taking place, if ammonia gas is produced, paper will change its color from red to blue.